So I hope you guys liked how this one turned out. And if you don't super dig it, well, just stay tuned until the end of the week for another center. Hello everyone and welcome to a new short episode of the Speculative Wildlife Research Center. Today we are taking a look at a second concept for a Spec Evo Center. Earlier this week we released a video showing our decidedly mammalian version of centers, but the speculation is not yet over. Here we are seeing another version of these same creatures, but this time based on a mantis. So as always, thanks to everyone who wanted to see this episode, and to our patrons and channel members for their support. And now, let's get centering! As violent and hostile as centers can be, Chironid centers, the Sotoxas Chironi, have proven to be quite their opposites. See, despite their name, these animals are not related to the ungulates also known as centers, as can be inferred at a glance, being called as such simply due to their somewhat similar appearance. The Chironid part of their name comes from their hands, or cur in ancient Greek, the raptorial limbs, which they used to hunt and manipulate their food. Chironid centaurs are known to hunt small and medium-sized animals, stalking them from the vegetation and then shooting small barbs from the raptorial limbs through a quick motion. They are, however, also known to occasionally eat certain plants and herbs with pharmaceutical properties in order to self-medicate against a variety of physical ailments. Human beings in the area learned to distinguish healing herbs in this manner, coming to consider the Chironid centers as master healers. These animals, unlike the rowdy roving herds of Hippobrachia, are solitary hiding in isolated hills and caves and only meeting others of their species during mating season. They will usually avoid any contact with larger animals that could prove too much of a bother or too dangerous to hunt, including wolves, bears and even human beings. Ironically enough, despite their name likely meaning ball slayer, Chironid centaurs are known to avoid domestic animals altogether. And that's it for a second speculative biology look into centaurs. This insectoid center, based on a praying mantis, the centaurs of nature, was designed and considered, but not chosen for the main video due to a couple of factors. First is the fact that giant insects, as mentioned in earlier videos, would require a lighter and softer exoskeleton, making them poorly adapted to the absolute savagery mythological centers are known for. This did work, however, for a version of Chiron, the wise reclusive teacher, but I felt the exception should be seen after the rule, hence why we are seeing it until now. Second, while insects are pretty much defined by having six limbs, just like centaurs, I felt a direct adaptation from one to the other would have made for a less interesting episode speculation-wise, especially since, as mentioned in the last video, it was already hard to find much to say about centaurs. Still, it was really fun to design this second take on centaurs, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And remember, if there's any type of creature you'd like me to give the speculative biology treatment in the show, please sound off in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, have a nice weekend, and see you next time on the Speculative Wildlife Research Center.